Looks like the new face of boxing just got the golden ticket in a Baltimore courtroom. Let's talk about it. What's going on, guys? Hey, make sure we like and subscribe, but let's get right into it. We're going to talk about Gervonta Davis. So on May 5th, he got sentenced for the 2020 hit and run that injured four people, including one being a pregnant woman. He's going to get 90 days in-house pro uh, suspension. Uh, he's going to be serving that 90 days at his coach's Calvin Ford's house. And uh, then he's going to be on three years supervised probation. Did the champ get off a little easy? You know what? Yeah, I think he got off pretty easy. Again, this just goes to show the separation between the, the, the rich and famous versus the guys like us. Like if it was you or me, granted, I don't know who you are, but if, if it was you or me, we would be in jail. So one of the attorneys for uh, one of the victims said they were not very happy with the outcome of this. They felt like the sentence was very light. But if that's the case, it kind of leads me to wonder, you know, why isn't there a, a civil suit right now? Like why aren't damages being paid for this? My guess uh, is that it's probably on the way either that or some money has been paid under the table uh, to make it go away um, you know outside settlement something to say hey look he's already being punished by the state take this bag shut up and leave us alone because initial reports that I saw from back in the day said that this was a, a DUI related hit and run so I don't know if that narrative has changed at all but I think Gervonta got off pretty easy this time especially for someone in the public limelight that he's in right now I think he got away pretty pretty good. The next real indication we'll see of like how much he really got away with is when he goes back to court for the domestic battery uh, case that he got in 2022. So December 2022, Gervonta Davis uh, allegedly uh, battered a woman outside of a hotel, um, leaving an abrasion on the inside of her mouth. My guess is that these things don't compile, but you know a judge is going to look at the sentencing up in Baltimore, especially because the, the battery happened in Florida. So depending on where that court case is happening, I imagine it's probably happening back in Baltimore because he is on house arrest. I think that's probably going to be considered. And again, unless there's some type of outdoor settlement dispute, whatever it might be to get this to go away, could Gervonta Davis be looking at some jail time? He was looking at six years for the hit and run. And, you know, now we're looking you know, it's a misdemeanor battery case, so he might not serve any jail time, but these things are compiling. Uh, and this is the, this is arguably now the new face of boxing, you know, alongside a lot of greats right now. You know, he's he's up there getting recognized with the likes of Canelo, with the Lomachenko, with the Devin Haney's, uh, with the Errol Spences, you know, he, and he's he's got pay-per-view numbers now to prove that. You know, it's, it's, it's a dangerous situation you're in when you start to achieve this level of success. Uh, but also, we see that the perks that come with it. I mean, 90 days house arrest for a uh, hit and run on four people is insane uh, to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I have got to get out of here and get some work done. So that's all I got for you. Uh, I'm done.